In this lesson we have to discuss about programmable logic controller. A programmable logic controller, or PLC, is a small, modular solid-state computer with customized instructions for performing a particular task. PLCs, which are used in industrial control systems, ICS, for a wide variety of industries, have largely replaced mechanical relays, drum sequencers, and cam timers. PLCs take up less space, perform more complex tasks and are more customizable than the mechanical technologies they have replaced. They are known for their ability to operate continuously without maintenance and have had a great impact on digitizing a great many industries, particularly manufacturing. The first PLC, for example, was invented by Dick Morley in 1969 for General Motors and performed uninterrupted for 20 years before being retired. Five programming languages are used to code PLCs. They are ladder logic, function block diagram, FBD, structured text, ST, instruction list, IL, and sequential function chart, SFC. PLC programming is not very difficult compared to other computer programming languages. The major advantage of PLC is that it allows multiple languages within the same controller to program it. The kinds of equipment that PLCs can control are as varied as industrial facilities themselves. Utility plants, batch control application, chemical processing, conveyor systems, food processing machinery, auto assembly lines etc., you name it and there's probably a PLC out there controlling it. In a traditional industrial control system, all control devices are wired directly to each other according to how the system is supposed to operate. In a PLC system, however, the PLC replaces the wiring between the devices. Thus, instead of being wired directly to each other, all equipment is wired to the PLC. Then, the control program inside the PLC provides the wiring connection between the devices. The control program is the computer program stored in the PLC's memory that tells the PLC what's supposed to be going on in the system. The use of a PLC to provide the wiring connections between system devices is called soft wiring. The basic part of a PLC is central processing unit and input-output system. The central processing unit, CPU, is the part of a programmable controller that retrieves, decodes, stores, and processes information. It also executes the control program stored in the PLC's memory. In essence, the CPU is the brains of a programmable controller. It functions much the same way the CPU of a regular computer does, except that it uses special instructions and coding to perform its functions. The CPU has three parts. The processor. The memory system. The power supply. The processor is the section of the CPU that codes, decodes, and computes data. Memory system is the section of the CPU that stores both the control program and data from the equipment connected to the PLC. Power supply is the section that provides the PLC with the voltage and current it needs to operate. Next main part of PLC is the input-output system. The input-output system is the section of a PLC to which all of the field devices are connected. If the CPU can be thought of as the brains of a PLC, then the I.O. system can be thought of as the arms and legs. The I.O. system is what actually physically carries out the control commands from the program stored in the PLC's memory. The I.O. system consists of two main parts. The rack. I.O. modules. The rack is an enclosure with slots in it that is connected to the CPU. I.O. modules are devices with connection terminals to which the field devices are wired. Together, the rack and the I.O. modules form the interface between the field devices and the PLC. Stay tuned for next lesson about PLC will include I.O. type and programming. Please subscribe and like for more videos. Thanks for watching.